Yo, what's up? My name is Daniel Flifel and welcome to Let Me Judge. In today's video, I have a good friend of mine, Emil Langley. I've been working out with him for over, I think, four years or something. Something like that. I'm better than him. <laughs> <laughs> when we competed in the Swedish championship, we came exactly the same place. Yeah, I think we've been split fourth like two or three times or something like that. Yeah, and this year he has his chance to beat me because I'm organizing the competition. <laughs> this is his excuse. Alright guys, today we're going to react to the famous battle between Iquan and Eric Ortiz. And this one is an insane battle and we have already watched this before because it's from 2017. Yeah. I haven't commented on this. And this is a video you chose. One of the one of the sickest battles that, that I've, ever, I've ever seen. It's crazy, if you haven't seen it, then you're gonna you're in for a treat. Emil loves statics more than freestyle, I would say. Yeah. And I, I I am the opposite. I love freestyle more than statics, and that is maybe because you are better in statics than in freestyle. Yeah, yeah. And I'm better in freestyle yeah. than in statics. So it's natural. Yeah. yeah. So in this reaction, we have two point of views. From my side, it's uh, mostly freestyle, and from his side, it's statics. But as you guys know, I still love statics. I'm working towards the full planche. That is also your goal. Let's just start because I'm. I'm, I'm super excited about this one. Just having these two names in the same battle is it's crazy. crazy. It's crazy. It's a sick battle. This is from Battle of the Bars, two, uh, no, Battle of the Bars 26 in Dubai. And this video is from Nordin Workout. So thanks for recording this so we can react to this. So let's start. Let's go. Okay, Eric. Versus Iquan. Let's go! Oh. Just the way he goes from that impossible, it's like, yeah, you, I do a push up. It's so basic for him. And you have done the impossible, right? I can do the impossible, yeah. Not like that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big difference doing it from the top going down because you get kind of a momentum, but like going from dead position from the bottom and pressing up is much, much harder. It's impressive, but it's also a very underrated move. Full plan. Full okay, now it's like 15 seconds, right? Yeah, it's like to a side. I don't know what that is called. Full punch. Keep. <laughs> Freak! This is this combo is it's so, already it's so ridiculous. It's, it's like. Wait, when did he start? He started at like, it's already like 25 seconds. 25 second combo, just one arm planche to full planche to like some side twist, full planche, split, kicking. It's like it never ends and it just keeps going. I remember when I saw this combo the first time, it's just unreal. We're both working for the full <laughs> planche, so like just holding that is hard. But like this is just a whole, whole other level. He's, just uh, imagine, people are not able to do a 30 second handstand and he's doing almost 30 seconds. Second plan. Okay, he was done there, but now it's equal. Full Maltese, nice. Press. Press. To down one again. Let's go. Full planche. Nice. Press. This year, Iquan was pretty new to the game. Coming. This was just like at like a, the peak, because he came from like nowhere. He was always the sick, but it's just like he got famous like that. Like just people got to know him on, on Instagram. And then, yeah, this was probably just a few months after that, so. Yeah, it was after his story where he just told that he sold his phone or something, then yeah. built his bar. And if you don't follow Iquan, you need to get to his Instagram and see what bar he does all the crazy stuff yeah, on. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> and people are complaining when they have a whole gym. We are complaining sometimes. Yeah. When we have a whole gym, mats and everything. This guy has built his own bar. I can't even it explain. It looks like a construction construction setup. He just made him by himself from some metal bars and just like some tape or whatever. It's, it's crazy that he can throw the crazy dynamics and statics on a bar that's like... It's just so bad, but <laughs> he's so good. One arm handstand. Handstand to one arm handstand flag. flag. Full. Right. Oof, up. Good. Nice. Full plan. Down to front heel. One, one arm. arm. Nice. Pretty clean. Yeah. To 
could have been held longer, but that's the only thing. Yeah. Like holding maybe one two seconds more. Yeah. yeah, and I've seen when in your videos that you usually comment this like people need to hold their stacks longer. And I think like I have the same opinion as you. Like generally in competitions, both like at the higher level like this, but at competitions that we do as well, yeah. it's just like people tend to not hold their statics. They want to do too much like more elements in a shorter period of time instead of doing fewer and holding them longer. But one thing I need to give the athletes, when, like when we compete, three seconds, when you count one, two, that feels like five. Yeah, you have to, <laughs> it's, a, it's a common rule that we say, you, when you, if you want to hold a three in competition, you count to five. Yes. You do five and that's probably, maybe three then. Now it's Eric Ortiz's second round. Second and I, round. I don't know how many rounds they're doing, maybe three. Yeah, three or four, I think. Uh, and it's, it looks like it's 30 seconds and 45 seconds. Yeah. Hoop, 540, double, oh no, oh, okay, right. that. Could have held the front lever longer. Yeah. For Maltese. It's a good hold out. Short hold, but still. Oh, this one. Like, it's it, it is one finger, right? The only the middle <laughs> fingers. The bar. In front of me, I've seen Melny have done this yeah. in our gym. It's it looks so painful. I've tried to do a front lever, which like front lever is pretty basic for me, but yeah. just doing it in these fingers, it's just it's so painful. Doing a festo. Oh. Oh. Wrists. All right. Okay. Now it's it was second round, but so far, in my opinion, it's Eric. What do you think about the? We forgot to comment on the first round. The first round, I give to Eric. Yeah, Eric. Hundred percent. I think. Ikwan did a more like diverse, like yeah. he had some front levers and like one arm front lever as well. The holds and just the pure like strength and endurance like one arm planche from Eric was yeah. crazy. So I think he got the first round. First straight bar combo by Eric Dunn. Let's go Ikwan. Let's go. Oh. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> look, at his, look at his arm. Look at that arm. Wait. Look at his. Left arm. Okay, so it's he's like this. Oh shit! And it's I thought like... I thought it was like this. Fuck. Wait, he's doing it like this. He holds it's like, like this, this and then twist. Fuck. Oh. I just feel my, my shoulder. shoulders, <laughs> elbows, and hold that. Hold and and, on. and to a full, of course, yes. Walking, walking up. Pressing another giant. Ali hoop. And I remember like now everybody's doing the craziest dynamics. Back then 2017, this is three years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, this is crazy. We were like, damn, what is yeah. this? Ali hoop and to that combo doing that, it was like boom, this level, like yeah, yeah. super high. Now if people do like this, it would be like ah. it's more common, but yeah. like three years ago, this was a crazy, crazy level. So kids, if you don't know, now you know this was the like God level, really three God years level. Ago. Three, three years, years ago. ago. This was like the top, top two guys, one of like the best ones in the game. Yeah. Three years ago. Okay. Still, still is, but like now, the, these combos aren't like so high rate. No, no, no. Didn't hold that. A little bit sloppy. Le this yeah. is it's sloppy, but I wanted to comment on the hand placement. Look, he's it's like this. It's only one, I think it's only the... No, he has two fingers, you see? It's the thumb and the pink. Oh yeah, no, he has the... It's just insane. It looks so painful, first of all. And his elbows are like bent to the other side. Yeah. He's not... He didn't hold that oh, enough. Man. This is where... It... Even now... No, this was really no. sloppy. You can already see that it's extremely yeah. tired. It's getting tired. It's really going to show. Like just now, this is the second round, and already like Eric was, he didn't look tired at all. Like he held his statics, not all of them, but most of them. Like three seconds, like clean, no sloppiness. Like here we see some sloppiness, like slip. Like he's only a human. Like of course you get tired, but like going is crazy. But it's just you can show. Like he didn't hold the front lever, one arm, like Maltese. Okay, it's already over. Eric won both of the rounds. Yeah. No first, doubt. First and second. Second more more clear than the first one. Yeah. Like now it, that one was really clear. And now it's the I, I don't know if it's the last or it's two rounds more, but we'll see. Eric is on the P bars, and that means some crazy planche, <laughs> of course. <laughs> 
Oh. God, come on! Shelf to press. Down again, holding, holding. How long can you hold the freaking Maltese full after a push up and a press? That push up, full Maltese push up, that's rare. That's not. Nobody's doing that's that. Not, that's not super common. Every press, press people, are, everyone, like a lot of guys, presses, but. Push up in Maltese is rare, completely and different. Nobody, like this is three years ago, nobody's doing that now. No, I haven't no. seen that in the competition. It's a few guys. Few Eric, guys. Uh, who are you? <laughs> like, come on. Oh, yeah, Victorian after that as well. Yeah, Victorian. Oh, cool. Yeah. And, and this is like he still have some seconds left yeah. to do some stuff. He's like, this is enough. Yeah, this is the he, so. He did only a Maltese, so Maltese, Maltese push, up, push up, press, right, down, down to Maltese all. hold, and then a Victoria. And he knows like this. This is enough. This is enough. Yeah. Sorry, big one. Oh, I think it is. Front. Ah, oh, oh. they are oh, here. He lost a lot of oh. points. Boom! Guys, you don't know, Ikwan was one of the first people, I think, doing doing that in a competition. And, and this is three years ago. Three years ago. And, and it's so such a shame that he fails there as well, because that's like the, a move that he was really like known for. As you said, he's one of the first ones that really like landed this and had it like like basic, just basic. But that's the thing, like competition and like training in your it's own like not home the setup, same. it's not the same. Like this is really where it shows like if you know your stuff and like one fail. Like, we, like we say in the competition, like you cannot, in a competition you cannot fail. If you fail, you, you're like, done. It's like you're done. You're Especially done. on this level. Yeah, this level it's like you need to land. Oh no, if oh, no, oh. one more fail. It's like two fails in a so row. So now it's like just People that know, they know, yeah. just from now, they know that it's over for It's people. over, yeah. Like even, it, it can be two more rounds. Eric needs to fail like big a couple more times. But in this case, like if you're smart as well, when someone fails like this, like you can always, like you change your game plan. You just play safe. I think, yeah. So, uh, hold that hold. This form is clean, but it's just the hold. This one is not, oh, no hold. No hold. No oh, hold. Okay. okay. Oh, it's still one more run. Yeah, it's more. I think it, <laughs> the thing is, I think it could be one or two more. This this battle was crazy long. Three rounds is pretty normal. Yeah. So I think they have 30 or 45, but you don't have to always. That's also a thing like with Eric. You see that he's smart. Yeah. You don't have to use the full 45 just because you have it. Yeah. Like, do your thing and land and hold your stuff. And do then the crazy stuff and stop. Like, yeah, it's enough. So that, that round is just 100% Eric. Like, two fails and just basically not holding the statics from Ikuan is... Oh! <laughs> that I one, that move. it's so sexy. Oh, it's so sexy, it looks so nice. It looks nice, but it also looks like your shoulder is going to uh, die. It, and that, that one is more of a, like a trademark for Eric. Yeah. And I remember he was one of the, one of the first ones that I saw at least landing that move. So it's, and it's so basic for him, so but it's such a rare move as well. And like after this, as I said, he could like just play it safe, but then he, he like throws this like giant to, uh, I don't know what you but even still, call it. But he still has his name that he needs to live, yeah, up, yeah, live of course, up to, of course. So, so he can't do just a basic. No, 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 no like but this is basic for him. But it's like... Full punch. Full punch. Full press. Oh, oh, oh stop. Pushing it. Come on, come right. on. <laughs> he, he was like, ah, I'm not going to do a straddle. <laughs> what is straddle? I, through Daniel, got in contact with Eric just to do like a personal training session with him. He's the nicest guy. Like, he's a bit crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so funny. It's like, I'm training for planche. I've been doing it for like on and off for a long time, but like in the last like six to eight months up to a year, I've been able to do it consistently without injuries. But before he tells the story, Emil can, like he was able to do almost an advanced tuck. Yeah, so my level was I could do like almost advanced tuck and I do a one hour personal training with Eric. He says, he gives me a few exercises. He's like, give, give me some new stuff, like really good exercises. Mm. Like I can feel like, wait, this is really gonna give me something. He writes down his program and he gives this to me and he's like, uh, this program will give you like, uh, you will have full punch in like two and a half months, <laughs> two months. I'm like, 
Okay, it's like, may, uh, I'll be happy to have like a straddle in two months. This is what he says. There is no straddle in this program, bro. <laughs> only fool. This is only fool. So this is how he thinks. The plan is gone. Bro. And I think he, here, I'm going to show you guys one more time. He, he's like, why am I going to a straddle? So what that's is, how he thinks. What is this? Never straddle, only fool. Sick. Like this and hold. Elbow front lever hold. And check that tattoo on his back. It's street workout. Just full tattoo street workout. And I don't know what where that logo is from. I, I recognize I know it's like it's a very old logo. I think he's had it for years. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't remember who made it. Like because I think it, it, he didn't make it make it himself. Yeah. I think there was it came from some street workout team or something, I think. If you guys know, leave a comment down below if you know the story behind his tattoo. Equan. Okay, Equan's fourth round. Full punch press. To one arm, full one arm. Good hold. Hold. Not Last holding. Punch. You can see he looks tired. That's so good, but not So you can hear this here now. He's he's, he's too tired. He's, tired. he's exhausted. Not holding anything really. Just one thing from the beginning, but then just one second, one second, one second. And I think it's because he knows if I hold it long, I will lose the form and will look shitty. Yeah. Just see that his energy in his body is yeah. not there anymore. Yeah. The endurance level is it's just such a huge difference. You're saying like, oh, he's tired, doesn't hold his stuff. Like he can hold these these things, but it's like four rounds. And like he, it's so it's insane. like 30 to 45 seconds in between the runs when the that's where you, the time you have yep. to rest when the other guy is going. So like you can't blame him. Also, like Eric is still holding his stuff. Just imagine you and me battling, <laughs> going to the fifth round. You see that oh shit, I have one more round. Yeah, okay, it's oh, not it's, done. It's not done. But they are not oh. holding that. Not no, straddle punch. It's over. You should have skipped that. It was just a waste of energy. Okay, Eric, fifth round. Let's go. I'm yeah. walking. Press. Basic. Just walk in the park. Oh, no, that's that. Flag? No, oh, maybe. Something in between. The punch. Push, push up. Oh, oh, there he yeah, lost. There oh, you can see. That is the first, first time, time actually I see Eric lose the form yeah. in the fifth round. Yeah, it's the fifth round, so you can like see why he would be tired. But he still does two like two full punch push up, not holding it at the end, so it's like one. You would lose some. Yeah, you I would say one. Yeah, you would. Yeah, like you would lose something like that. But the diff it's also a big difference between doing a full punch push up, coming down and up, and like really holding it, marking, yeah. than like doing the like bouncing yeah. thing. No. no, no, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> Multi. <laughs> Holding. Oh! Holding. Okay, that was a hold. Golden. First, I, I thought he was going down. He's not, okay, he's not going to hold that. And that would be <laughs> really the first time I see Eric like fall down in no. a planche. <sighs> Eric! First round, full multi. Can you After just. Planche, full planche push up. Okay, now it's Iquan. Double 360. Ooh, close one. I'm tired. Oh, super no tired. It goes down. Okay, no. Wait, he stopped? He stopped, wait. That was his fifth round. So he, and it's still going, it's a sixth <laughs> round. We're still going. That's the, I, that, now I remember, like, when I saw this, the what thing the? is, I remember thinking this when I saw, saw this battle the first time, like, six rounds. Who does six rounds? Guys, these the, statics, it's if, mostly statics. If you don't understand, like, going six rounds in a battle, and, like, I understand it, quite, like, I have full respect for that. Yeah, like, he's a crazy athlete, but no out, shame yeah. that you, like, uh, my body can't handle that. No. No shame at all. And Eric is going, he's like, oh, well, one more to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Straight bar. That's insane. No iguana. Uh, Come on. Iguana. Straddle. 360. He's not done. What? 360, 360 again. again. <laughs> <laughs> when athletes do this grip on the straight bar and do a full plash. And I'm here trying on the strata, on the floor. <laughs> on the P-bars. <laughs> on the P-bars. 
<laughs> leg shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> it's like still decent hold, not two seconds. Oh, much. he's not done. And festo. Like a festo. Come on, Eric. Amazing. What? Okay. okay. Big one. No. He doesn't even look like he wants to be there. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Oh, yeah, nice. Flash. Ah. Oh. Oh, to full. Double. Double. Front lever. No hold. Oh, that no, no shit to no. hold. No. Hold. So he's going to. P bars on the ground. Oh. No. Oh. So tired. But the thing is, he needs to fight. He can't yeah. just... No, he can't just give up. Because it's a legendary battle, yeah. especially 2017. It's like... Like, Battle of the Bars. What? The guy... The guy six just <laughs> came up, hmm, let's do six rounds. <laughs> Let the athletes die. I mean, it's a good way to show, like, who's really on top of their shit. Eric really stands out. Even after, like, the second round. But, like, third and fourth. Oh, wait, wait. Seven? So seven rounds. Guys, sorry for this long video. I know it's already like... Like we already seen it. We've already seen it, both of us, but I don't remember it being seven... Seven rounds. The organization battle of the bars, you are just insane. You, you are all aliens. Alien is a good thing. WCO is crazy. Like, like six rounds. Aliens. Like, was it, is, has it always been six rounds? Was it six rounds with Eric versus... Nine. Was it nine? Against Tony. Nine, nine rounds? But they had breaks in between, I think. That no. Had. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> they had like, th yeah, they had like 45 seconds, I think, for both. Yeah, what, no, for when he made. did, then the other, I don't, I can't, I don't remember. This one this is insane. I don't know what to call that. <laughs> what is that? Then push what? up. Hold. Come on. Now it's like, yeah, one second hold, so it's still, but this is seven round. No, that's four. So he's not holding it now, but the form, is, he's not losing the form. It's and just it's not, clean. Like, Iquan also comes up, but then he does like a hold for one second, then he just goes down, because he can't do anything else. He can't hold the full punch, but he does one second, and then go, and he continues. I, I, I just need to repeat this. If you don't understand how freaking hard, seven round, <laughs> seven freaking round, how? Seven rounds. Battle of the Bars wrote to me, hey, do you want to compete if they ever do, uh, would do that? <laughs> uh, and they're like, yeah, it's seven rounds. I'll be like, <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Give me two years, yes. No. <laughs> yes. Oh, what? Two bar, what? Back level pull up, clean. Hefesto Hefesto after that. Basic. Okay, now it's equal one, seven. This seven. must be the last. Must be the last round. Oh, come on. Wait, wait. Look at Ikwan's just eye. He's like... He looks, you can see he's drained. He's here. so tired. He's like, okay, I need okay. to survive this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. And I, I, like, huge respect. Like, don't take this wrong. Huge respect. The experience and the years of training that Eric has before Ikwan. It just shows. It really here. shows in this battle. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, Maltese. He's so old. Oh, uh, hold, but still like something. Still have to give it to him. Press, just uh, press directly. Uh, and now he's repeating. He's yeah. repeating a lot. Driving. That was nice. That was pretty nice. I think he touched his feet on the ground, yeah. right? What? I don't know why after this. It's if like, you know, why do you the thing do? Is, I, I've seen more people do this as well. Like they can't hold the front lever, but they can hold like a one arm front lever. But it's not like a clean one arm front lever. I can't do a one arm front lever. Like my, if I do one, I can do a shitty one. Like like this one. Of course, it's the seventh round. Seventh round. So okay, like he can hold it better. Yeah. Like in the first round, but it, it doesn't make sense to me if you can't hold a full front lever clean for like three seconds, you're not gonna be able to do a nice clean one arm front lever. No. He does this like the hip, like his hip, hip bending, dips, and like and his knees legs bending. Out. Knees bending, legs out to the side, it's not clean, so... So after like doing a full front lever, why go to, down to one if yeah. you know that you're tired? Hold the fold. Fold, do instead. something... Wait, 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 what? What? Wait, what? 
Is it, this is it nine? This, wait, this video is going to be my longest one. And this is oh. just insane. Nine, eight round, eight now. I'm tired after two minutes. <laughs> two, two, one minute round. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. One yeah. round has done flag. Never straddle. Struggling, <laughs> but still coming and holding. He's, okay, he's, he's like, okay, that's okay, enough. Now, I'm <laughs> now even Shorter. Eric, Shorter. now even Eric looks tired. <laughs> then you know, okay, this it's is like, it. he's tired so he doesn't hold, but the he never loses the form. Like the form is still, still good. Yeah, you can well, see you this is, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Like you can see his form, he's just, his arms are just hanging. He has nothing in his grip. His forearms are. When you are battling against Eric, when you have the opportunity to be in this this kind of battle, yeah. you don't want to come out as like you're giving up. No. And that I can I don't know what this is happening. It's like huge here. respect to Iquan, but yeah, this is Is it going? Is it going and this to is do? this is so hard as well. Like if you get that, like uh, it must be like some like pump or like cramping. It's so hard. Like you can't get rid of it just like that. Like it's gonna take him uh, I have hours had to, had to lose it. It's and like you can't do anything. Like straight bar, p bar, grab like nothing. Oh, if I don't know if this is over. He, he has one more round, but maybe he's not going. But I just also wanted to comment on this because I just love this about the sport. And like, like I say this at every event when you have a competition or something, the community it really shows. Like mm. everyone cheers each other on. Like if you even if you're battling against each other, like you can see Eric, he's like embracing me and telling me like probably like, like good job, like stuff like that. So it's just the community I, yeah. is insane. I like, love it. That's why, that's I, why I love this sport. Yeah, and that's why I organized the competitions as well because yeah. because of the community you don't see this in other sports no this is very unique for a street workout but like. the thing is i think also when the sports start to like when you start earning money yeah when winning that might change yeah it could it's it gonna could. be interesting to see if it does but this is always for me it's always been the feeling like i remember even like one of my first or second competitions yes. i had my parents watching and they just saw that they were so amazed about how everyone was just cheering each other yeah. on and just embracing each other and trying to like i don't no, it's, but it's very unique. Just imagine. Just imagine. Like, I don't want it, this to change ever. But just imagine if you are you putting your life to this sport, you have the chance to win a half a million. That could could change it for some people. I think. Yeah. I hope not. I think stay the same. Just because like it's it's already there. It's all like, all like just a community. Like the first time you meet people at new competitions, like everyone is just just like you're friends with everyone right yeah. away. Because we have what this one like thing in common, and it's just. So it's still such a small yeah i hope in, it doesn't change picture, no i hope so too because money changes people yeah doing one more he's just thanking more. no, no. Right. Uh, you might already guess who who will win yeah. because after the third round I was yeah i say after was it the second or third where yeah. one did two fails i think it was even the second one it's still like then you know like of if eric would fail in one of the rounds, yeah. like he could be even, but... Eric is too experienced for equal, like, especially 2017. Yeah. Like, he, he's like, I have endurance, I have the statics, I have the dynamics, and I've done this a couple of times, I know how to handle what to do when and how much yeah. of in each round. In my opinion, Eric won after yeah, the third round. Yeah, the third round. Like, and just you could say second, but in third and fourth, it was... Just imagine, well okay, that, it, in third round, they still have... <laughs> Eight rounds yep. in total? That's I think if I'm not wrong and comment down below if I am, I think they have they should have done nine rounds. I think the competition. Yeah, maybe yeah, because if it was nine between Eric and Tony, Tony. then it probably should have been nine here, but yeah. Ikron was just too tired and his forearms were f he couldn't keep going because he didn't even do his eighth round. We go to judges scorecard number one. Thirty twenty seven Ortiz. Judge number two, 30-27, Ortiz. Judge number three, 30-27 for a unanimous decision, Eric Ortiz. Yeah, of course. <laughs>
It was a crazy battle, crazy battle. but like it wasn't even. No, we both had seen this before and like we already knew what the outcome was. I didn't remember it being this long. <laughs> Eight rounds, probably even should have been nine if Ikwan could have kept going. It's like a survival of the fittest. Yeah, it could be a good, like at this high of a level, it could be a good thing that really, it really sets apart like who has the both like completeness, strength, yeah. endurance, like you do static dynamics, enough tricks in your bag that you can keep going and still do new combos. And do he, did, it he didn't repeat anything. Eric, he always did something new in every yeah, round. Yeah, if it wasn't on a high bar, it was on a low bar. Yeah. Yeah, but in the end, it, it is. I didn't see any floor though. No one, I don't... Did yeah, you, did yeah, 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 Ikwan did. Ikwan did something, a full plan or something yeah, on the something floor. On the yeah. floor. But in the end, I think like, after the third round, uh, it was clear that Eric won. Ikwan right now, 2020, is sick. And, like what he does, the flow and both the dynamic yeah. statics are just... He, he was... 2017 was here, now he's like... Yeah. Here. And this... is a long video, I know that. I th we have recorded for 48 minutes right now. So for those who have stayed this long, don't forget to subscribe. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like this video as well. And thanks for having you here, bro. It was a pleasure. Pleasure, pleasure being here. And uh, guys, I will see you in the next video.